My name is Wira Wood from the Laksong Police Station. I'm doing public relations service for the residents of Muban Setakit. For instance, directing traffic, military services, giving out food and water. Muban Setakit is a big residential area. The land is much lower than other areas, so the flood water level is quite high. There are so many people that live in this community. All of them are affected. Most have already evacuated, but there's still a lot of people that have stayed on in their homes. My feelings about the flood? Hmm. There's both good and bad things. The bad things we can see is the interruption of people's lives, but there's a little bit of good luck in it because we found solidarity and compassion. People are getting to know and help each other. This is the natural generosity of Thai people, but for some, fighting is normal. The same in every society. We couldn't imagine the flood before it happened, but now it's flooded, we know what it's like to be in this situation, and we can learn lessons and tell the story to future generations. <laughs> My house is near a market. Next to a temple near here is flooded a lot. But there's no authority giving any serious concern in my area. My house is behind a petrol station, a one-story building. I try to lift up my belongings, lift them high above the floor, but it wasn't high enough. Things like my bed, mattress, cupboard, they are all been destroyed. I am poor, I can't buy these things again, and I am also old, 60 years old. I have no income and not in good health. I've got a bad leg. But I think other people are in the same situation. At first, I was very stressed, but after two or three days, I accepted it. Maybe where I am is a very small community, so there's no proper organization taking care of this area. My house has been flooded since the 1st of November. I haven't worked, can't do anything. I can't go back to my house, so I came out here. I just went to see my house, but we can't live there anymore. The water level is waist high. It's receding a little bit, but the water is polluted. The bad thing is it's difficult to go in and out to find food. Living is hard, so I stay out here. The good thing is I'm getting to know and talk to many people. I don't know whether the water is going to go down or not. I've heard they're going to lift up these big sandbags and I'm worried. My wife went to see the house. Water's going down a little bit. If the water rises, I don't know what to do. I'm living in the kindergarten at the moment, and my name is Pracha Sassin, and I live in the Champlain Setakit Soy 4. <laughs> My house is flooded a lot. Many of my belongings are destroyed. I can't use the ground floor now. I'm living only upstairs. It's quite difficult. It's hard to get in and out. But now they are making a walkway in front of my house. It's easier to walk. It's getting better as we are getting help from the Bancare municipality. Now when I get out of the house, I don't have to go into the water anymore, just in the house. Now it's flooded more than 20 days, 22 or 23 days. The people are helping each other. The lesson I've learned is to improve my house because this year is flooded like this. Next year it could flood again. I'm from the TOT Telephone Company. We've come out to help people with food. We're circulating in the truck every day. One thing is I want everyone to be patient. Water comes, 
water goes. The most important thing is we have a spirit of solidarity. The nation needs this, otherwise we'll be unhappy. Hello, I'm from TOT Telephone Company. Our help center comes here every day for more than a month now to the western area of Bangkok. When I see the people in this situation, I feel I want to help. I want the government to manage the water better for people than this. We will try to be there with a smile to encourage people. I want to ask the government to help in the flooded areas where the water isn't moving or flowing out. It's been a month now. I want the government to get the water out as soon as possible because of the trauma which is affecting the people in the flood and the illness that will come about afterwards. This is the most important issue. TOT would like to be there to fight the flood. Water comes and it will go. Nothing worse than this is going to happen in the future. Life will continue. Fight the flood together. My name is Somsak Suksoman. We've lived here for 60 years in Pankor. I've lived through three floods now, but each of them was much less than this time. The first flood was in 2516, the second in 2526, the big flood ten years later, then 2538. This year was unlike the others. The flood has a lot more water. The bad thing about the flood is the difficulties in day-to-day -day living, such as where to sleep, where to stay through the day. The good thing is the government is concerned and hasn't abandoned the people. It always helps with free boxes of food and water. Okay. <laughs> I'm a volunteer, helping people go in and out to work and get home again by stopping trucks and giving them food. I want people to help each other, not to get discouraged. Water has flooded our area, but will go away again. My house is also flooded, but still feel I want to help other people. I want ties to be patient and help each other to get through this together. Mumbai Setakit is badly flooded. Some old people are still stuck down there in their flooded homes. So I will make sure food is delivered to them with our team.